Today's episode of the Awful Irish Podcast is brought to you by Skillshare. Stuck in quarantine? Have nothing to do? Learn some new skills, why don't you? Uh, I've actually just started a class. Oh, we just started a class on there. On guitar, man. Really? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, I'm a bit, uh, a bit out rust on the guitar there, you know? So uh, I thought I'd try to improve my skills, and uh, yeah. Nice. It's coming along pretty well. Pretty cool, man. So, um, uh, now, sadly, because I'm not a subscriber, well, because I'm part of the podcast, and, uh, you know, this is our promo code, I can't, unfortunately, use the join for two months free. However, you can. if y'all are watching the video, go down that description and click that link. Uh, you know, two months, man, in two months probably going to be out of this and you're still going to want to learn skills click that link and have fun welcome Perfect. to so... the awfully Irish podcast where today we're talking about the domestication of dogs because the boys both agreed that it's not the right time to have the first live performance on uh, the awful Irish podcast sadly Please. never will be so a right ready. moment you know so ready. never will be a right moment you know so uh, we all have be, man. I, fucking dogs. regardless of what, one day I'm going to perform with this podcast and there's not going to be a thing you can do about it. It's just wrong. Oh, though, boys. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. You're so fired. We, we all, <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we all like dogs. We all have dogs. Um, mine's the smallest of the lot. He's a little Bichon. Yeah. What about you fellas? Oh, you never said his name, man. Uh, for anonymity, he won't be named. Shout okay, to Steve. Keep that quiet. Shout to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you no, might have seen Toby. him on the Twitter already. He's maybe the bestest boy. Toby's uh, oh, Toby is constantly don't, don't featured stare. on Twitter. Uh, to encourage you to subscribe. Boxer is yet to be revealed, boy. Don't worry, he's coming. Anyways. So I'll go then, I suppose. So, yeah, I have a, a Boxer Terrier. And, uh, you know, the smartest name for the Boxer Terrier would be, you know, Boxer. Just they call him a fucking dog, dog, man. Fuck me. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty good boy. <laughs> and it's him. Man, Hello, are you dog. fucking insulting my dog? No, I'm not insulting man, your dog. I'll bring my dog over there and I'll kill, you, I'll kill your cat, man. I'm insulting the owner of the dog. Whoever decided oh, to give him Boxer. Blame Dan for that one. Go on. And, uh, yeah, he's the middle of the lot of them. And Thomas, I believe your dog is the biggest. Yeah, so my dog is Max. He's uh, wanted for several war crimes, but he's a good boy. You can actually see him right up there in the corner, if you look carefully. Every single podcast. What That's how much I love him, I have you know? a question for you. What? I have a question for you. Would you both agree with the statement that dog is man's best friend? Yes. Um... Man has 14 best friends. Really? Yep, we domesticated only 14 animals. However, would you agree that the dog is the oh, best? Oh, dogs are my favorite. <laughs> dogs are the yes. best. Cats are, cats are a close second, in all fairness. Fucking hate cats, man. I had a disagreement with a cat earlier on, man. Fucking... I, I, I had a cat. Or I was 99.9% with... cats are cats. fucking deep. I've met we, like we, three cats yeah. who haven't yeah. wanted to murder me. So, yeah, they're demons. But hey, here on the Awful Irish Podcast, we don't exclude anyone. So if you're a cat person, please, if you want to know more about dogs, just keep on listening. So, we have you guys might wonder, here. okay, they said, so how do we domesticate dogs? Uh, so you fellas have any idea how it all started? I do. Now, we're not scientists, we're not no, experts. Obviously. Uh, so we're just oh, saying it course. in the simplest terms. So, in the most basic things I could say, so you know we have we have wolves still. Yeah. And the wolf is obviously a canine, and a dog is also a canine, but they mm. both descended from one canine. K, K- uh, what is it? Canis lupus. K eight. Uh. 
No, Canis K-8. Lupus is, is the modern Grey Wolf. Is it Canis Lupus or is it K- K-8? <laughs> yeah. It... Wait, that's, that's the modern Grey Wolf. Well, not the modern Grey Wolf. The... Well, yeah. But, yeah, no, Grey Wolves and dogs are closely related. They branched off at some point. They used to have a common ancestor that isn't the exact same as a, as a normal Grey Wolf today. Of so, uh, the friendly ones are obviously probably the dog sitting on your lap. Yeah, um, right. So the grey wolf then is, lupus, and then the the uh, I think the dog is the Canis lupus familiaris, considering they're familiar with us. Yeah, uh, they're the good boys. Yeah. yeah. So what happened was? This, yeah, exactly. This uh, this uh, ancestor of both dogs and grey wolves, uh, you know. They would tag along behind, um, you know, people who were moving along, like settlements and stuff like that. So when the settlements would leave, like scraps of animals and stuff behind, like bones and bits of meat and stuff like that, they'd feed on that, and then they'd feed on anything else that came to eat that as well. So then, and that's when they started following us. Sorry, you were yeah. centered. So it's going to say, uh, yeah, we know of this because there's evidence of uh, kind of like this mixed breed uh, between like wolves and dogs. Like they start getting used to us, um, and they adapted to eating bones. So they would follow human settlements and they would eat the bones. Um, you wouldn't think yeah, so about it I often, think but um, showed, didn't it? Hmm? their teeth showed that they um, didn't yeah. just eat meat. That they ate yeah, more they, brittle substance. Yeah. Yeah, they showed they had bone. And yeah. you may not think about it much, but um wolves and uh, humans were direct competitors at one point. Like they they hunted each other's prey, they were both intelligent, and they both had uh, complicated uh social structures. And uh Yeah. When those <laughs> when those two got together, uh we killed every megafauna ever. <laughs> What, what, Thomas, are what the fuck are you doing? Because <laughs> they're in like direct competition with one another. No, no. Okay, go on. <laughs> are, you comparing, are you comparing humans and wolves to fucking rock 'em sock 'em robots? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. This okay, is real I'm, I am trying to do my damn job, and that's to look shit out. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to like directly compete against uh, wolves. The wolves that eventually became. Our dogs. Um, well, not those ones. Obviously, at some point, <laughs> uh, they joined over to us. So, w- w- one theory, um, you know, like, they have obviously, obviously have packs, but sometimes wolves get excluded from packs. Yeah. So, if a wolf is excluded from a pack and is near a human settlement and is less aggressive to humans, uh, they often were fed. So, uh-huh. it was beneficial to them to be docile around humans or at least... Do, do something good for the humans. Um, mm. And obviously, like, okay, we'll keep this guy around. He's being friendly. Oh, there's another one. Okay, now they're shagging. Okay, well, their kid's super friendly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And, uh, yeah. Like, it obviously didn't happen, like, overnight. It happened over a crazy long time. Mm, like, we changed their genetics completely. And we changed their body structures completely. Without us, like, forcibly breeding them. Like they did in the Victorian ages, right. which is where we got most of our breeds. Um, like that, they evolved to um, I think have so a high... Look at a wolf, and then look at a dog, and like yeah. some dogs, you know, they look like wolves. Some dogs are like, "All right, where the fuck did you come from?" Like, I think the, I think the like weirdest one is, is is the poodle because they just don't look like anything like wolves at know. all. I think the pug is the fucking weirdest one. Pug. Pug is like the fucking furthest variation from a wolf that you will ever see in terms of dogs. Mm. Yeah. How long till we get like you know like those hammerhead sharks? How long till <laughs> someone breeds a dog like that? <laughs> about a hammerhead dog. I mean, isn't that technically what a pug is though? Because like their faces are all fucking flattened and shit. It's getting there. I've I got a wider face. Pugs, man. I really hope there's a picture of a dog with a hammer on its head. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 that dog just fucking ripped. <laughs> what the 
hell? <laughs> the dogs are fucking terrifying. What would be the closest dog to a wolf, though? Would it be like a like a, um, a shepherd, German shepherd, or like a? Um, what, a I know the oldest like husky oldest or... breed is um so some kind of African breed. It can't bark. Um, that's the oldest oh. breed of dog. So that might be a direct. Hold on, lineage. I see the closest dog to a wolf. Here we go. All right, what the fuck? They found that the four dogs closest to their wolf ancestors are the Shiba, Shiba Inu, uh, Chow Chow, Akita, and Alaskan Malamute. Man, there's a Shiba. A, there's a thing here, and it says that it's called the Basenji, or Africa's barkless dog, is a new breed and contender for yeah. the title of the oldest AKC breed. So that means, yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying a second doesn't ago. Bark. Does that mean wolves? Wolves probably were able to bark. Hey, right? don't How wolf. come that can't hey, bark? Here we go. Yeah, that's because kind of weird. The, the howl yeah. and uh, snarl instead. Hmm. Like, you don't really see money dogs snarling unless they're fucking huge. You know? I or it's your really, which are, like, very so aggressive. Awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, what I was saying there is we, we bred some, like, things in the dogs that they only do with humans. So, like, naturally they have social, clue, social cues with uh, other dogs. Even with wolves and then with people. So we bred like friendliness, friendliness into them. So they will, um, or hypo sociability, I think. They will like go over to other animals and try socialize with them. Which is like cool. really, that, that doesn't happen with other animals ever. You're going to get eaten. But uh, we kind of bred that into dogs. Or I just looked up some of these and. Uh... Just Christ, some of these dogs that are like closely related to wolves, man, you look at them and you're like, well, there's no way. Apparently, a Shih Tzu is very closely related to a wolf, apparently. Have you seen a Shih Tzu? Yeah, yeah. of course we've seen it. Fucking tiny. It's... Oh my God, I don't want to try to spell this. It's a <laughs> S-H-I-H-T-Z-U. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, oh. Thomas over here spelling shit zoo. <laughs> <laughs> a completely different topic that we're going to talk right, about shit. another day. <laughs> Chinese, uh, Samoyed, Lhasa, Apsa, Tibetan Terrier, uh, Saluki, oh. uh, Afghan Hound, Siberian Husky, Sharpe, a Basenyi, yeah, a Shiba yeah. Inu, a Kia, Alaskan Malamute, uh, a chow chow. Though the those chow are like chow. apparently the the fourteen uh, closest related to wolves. I think mm. the Alaskan Malamute is a uh, is really close. How did we uh? How did we the teach them to fetch? I just did it. I just put just throwing shit, man. We should no, like probably more it, than that. No, like. man, obviously because if they look at a bit of food and they're like, holy shit, I want that. And you fucking throw the food, and they realize there's nothing on it, and then they're like, "Oh, so they bring it back to you." Maybe historically it was when the humans threw bones away from a carcass or something. Yeah, maybe. And then uh, they'd go and eat that, and then continue to follow them. Also, so, is there like any relationship between actually like killing people and why they have an obsession with bones and stuff? No, they don't want to. They don't want bones for killing us, and um, just because there's 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 bone marrow windows, and that's really nutritious. Oh, right. Yeah. Never mind. Did not a. Also, what was I going to say? Has anyone seen that video of like the guy who took his dog with him when he was going hunting? And he put no. a camera on the dog. No. And the fucking dog met a wolf in the middle of the woods. Oh. Really? And I was like, yeah, it's fucking mad. Cool. It's actually crazy. Like, did you hmm. just see this dog running along? And it's like on the dog's back, so you can see the dog's head, right? Hmm. And out of nowhere, you just see this wolf, and they're just both fucking. Were they cool or did they, they fight like they or don't what? Attack. No, they didn't attack. Mad. I don't know what to compare it to, but like, because wolves and dogs are like directly related, it wouldn't be the same as meeting a chimp because they're close related. It would yeah. be like meeting a Neanderthal out of nowhere. Mm. Or like, obviously the dog didn't know wolves existed. So mm. when I met the wolf, I was like, what the? What's been mm. like that the first time we met Neanderthals? 
I'm pretty sure I live right beside a field and my dog sees sheep a lot. So I'm pretty sure he thinks because they're like even the same color. Or isn't there something with dogs being colorblind? I don't know. Yeah, they can't see about, certain uh, colors. Yeah. Anyway, he, he I, we're pretty sure he thinks they're just like bigger dogs because he doesn't. <laughs> well, he does. Like, he doesn't try to attack them or anything. Just kind of so stares. There's a at dog them. in um. There's a dog. There's a Finnish breed of dog that hunts bear. What's his name? That's insane. They hunt, they hunt, wait, wait. It's very popular for hunting large game, including bears, moose, and wild boar. Give me its name. It's a Karelian Kare- bear dog. A R E L I A N bear dog. Well, we're going whatever I have there. All right, cool. Sorry to any. Ah, see, I wasn't that far off. Right, gone. Ah, that's a cute yeah. looking dog. It hunts bears. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 that's awesome. Like, oh, yeah, I went for a walk in the woods. Dog dragged back a fucking bear carcass. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, fucking sh- dogs just bringing yeah, hedgehogs sh- and shit around. Like. Went hunting and the, the dog brought back a bear, you know? Anyway. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the tallest breed of dog? Like, I know that the Irish Wolfhound is up there because it's fucking huge. Do you mean standing on all four now, or on? Yeah, standing on all fours. Hmm. And what is? Can they not like develop? Do you know the way we, when we started off, we started walking on all fours? Do you think they're going to evolve now to start walking on two and then, or do you think Fuck they're going? That. No, I hope not. Just imagine just seeing a dog running towards you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was advantageous for us to do it, but not them. And because we directly control how they are going to evolve from now on, um, I don't think anyone's going to breed dogs to stand on two legs more. Like they do it a know. lot. Like <laughs> they do it a lot just from watching me us. You, you've just reminded me of this Japanese ad of this person in a dog costume, and they're running around on two legs. You know, man, I would, I would, I would, if, you know, if they say there's never okay, a guy. Okay, so here's, the, gr- food, here's the largest it. dog breeds. Okay, so Great Din is the small largest dogs, uh-huh. I think. Irish Wolf, it can stand nearly 35 inches to the, at the shoulder. So that's what, that's nearly three feet, just shoulder height. And then its head is up, like, probably where your elbow is. Jesus. If not higher. Uh, let's see what's the what's the biggest one though. Do you ever just look at a dog and you think, Jesus Christ, man, their existence must be painful. The pug is like, like, yeah, yeah, like a pug, the pug. Like, yeah, they're they're like a living in well. constant pain, isn't it? Oh, Twenty-eight inches. What the fuck? What yeah. can be the fucking largest dog, bro? It's not telling me. It's just showing me a bunch. I'm right, on. Leave it. Leave it. All right. But the it, thing is with dogs, it's actually well, like scary it, yeah. how like they. I'm just thinking of my little dog Lola, who <laughs> Tiny. we got we got from a rescue center. Like oh, shit. we a hundred percent know that Lola was abused. Yeah, you can tell because she's so afraid and so protective. The, usually, just, smaller dogs are protective and they kind of cower if you like stand over them. And she just craves so much attention, but it's like yeah. you know. But with and... bigger dogs, if they've been abused, it's mm-hmm. very dangerous. Really? Yeah, I know someone with a dog, and their dog was beat and it has brain damage. Mm-hmm. And uh, holy fuck, man, that thing is terrifying. If uh, if you're on the wrong end of it. Really? Yeah, man. Jeez. It's like one of those dogs that you know when it, it fucking sees someone, it like shows its teeth first. Oh it yeah. It starts growling and then starts barking fucking mad. Mm. Oh yeah, so the Irish Wolfhound is the tallest of dog breeds. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> it can weigh up to 180 pounds. And it was really, uh, originally bred as Game Hunter. Like, yeah. That's kind of cool, that. yeah. No, yeah. having a fucking dog that's 35 inches. And three foot, three foot tall. I don't know. Fuck. You guys you guys can educate me on this now. I don't know at all. But Joanne. do you know the way we weren't able to speak as chimps? And we weren't really chimps, but you know what I mean? To, to like, yeah. We could make noises with our voice box. Of course. Kind of like how a dog barks. Yeah. I mean... You mean like be, making no... Could they ever, you making know, evolve so much that they can talk? Yeah. 
What, you think dogs could evolve well, to talk? I well, while you guys were talking about tall dogs, I started thinking, as, as, as it's not fucking science, it's just shower talk kind of thing. Yeah, I know. We of started course. standing up on two legs to see what was around us, to look mm. for predators. Dogs, yeah. obviously, do, do, dogs have obviously learned that there's some benefits to walking on two legs. They're a bit more adapted to walking on two legs than wolves yeah. are. Of course, uh, of course. Or they're not walking on two legs. They'll get up on their hind legs, like to check over something. Blah blah blah. Like that. That's a behavior early humans had, or our ancestors. So, yeah. uh, yeah. no. So you're saying there's a possibility maybe, maybe. that dogs could walk on two legs at some point? Well, I, I doubt it. But like, because we're directly in charge of their evolution. Yeah. They will never. Yeah. Be, we're like, be like humans. They might, nothing was really in charge of our evolution, was it? No. Like no, it was it was us and our predators. Like domestication takes something out of the loop of evolution, and uh, yeah. agriculture took us out of the loop of evolution. Mm. So oh well, we'll still evolve. Natural selection won't have its way around us or our animals anymore. So yeah, it, if someone wanted to breed a dog to walk on two legs, it'd be really fucking weird seeing dog people. I'd uh, I'd, I'd literally, if I saw that man, I'd just not want to live here anymore. They, they'd kind of look like meerkats if they could stand on two legs. That's mm. fucking terrifying though, but like, imagine if that shit's running at you imagine on two dogs legs. dogs acting like dogs that act like meerkats. I mean, I feel like they'd have no reason to stand on two legs if... I mean, they can run faster. No, exactly, because, yeah. you know, them running on all fours is way yeah. Like, could you imagine yeah. just seeing a dog owner walk down the road with their dog? Like, the dog is walking with them? Sure. <laughs> you know, you guys know um, that most of like, the main carnivores came from the same lineage. Bears, dogs, and cats are all from the same family. Mm, yeah. Bear, bears naturally stand on two legs. Oh, cats yeah. might stand on two legs getting ready to jump or when they're maneuvering. Yeah. Um, so dogs would do it the least. So maybe it's already in that... Uh, I guess that family tree standing on two legs for certain reasons. So it might not just be because of mm-hmm. us, but uh, they do learn Fair a lot of st- stuff from just being around humans. Like you're raising the you're raising your dog from a puppy yeah. normally, and yeah. uh, they're obviously going to try. Is please you? Like they'll probably try, act like people because you know like they act like other dogs if they're around other dogs. Hmm. But yeah, well, I was trying to say earlier, um, you know uh, when you cuddle someone, Dara would know about this. If you, no, uh, no, of course. If you cuddle <laughs> someone or you're affectionate with oh, someone, you release, you release like, um, what's it called? Uh, Tear uh, gas. No, what? <laughs> is oxy- oxytocin, yeah? Yeah, well, I, think, I think that's right. Naturally, if we're around dogs, we secrete the, the same thing. Okay. So uh, there's a chemical link between us and dogs. Dogs do the exact same when they're around people. Yeah, so they enjoy hormone. being being comforted by humans. So you wouldn't Is try that, that with a wolf. That's cool. Also, fuck you, Jared. There's yeah, a asshole. hormone in, in chocolate now. And it's supposed to have the same one. Yeah, what? I think it's oxytocin, yeah. Yeah. There's no fucking yeah. way. Is, that. Is there actually oxytocin in chocolate? Yeah, that's why you love it so much. It's for people. Yeah, it's, it's for people like Dara who don't experience what? cuddling. That's why people in movies, when they're sad, they eat chocolate and ice cream because, like, makes them feel loved. You know, that's a fun fact for you there. You know, um, that's not people. I'm, in I'm movies. sorry, I'm bullying you, Dara. I'm not. That's not people in movies, Thomas. That's fucking people in movies. People, people eat chocolate when they're sad because it makes them feel happy. It's scientifically proven. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's the same like effect as you know having flat seven up when you're sick, man. You know, it's it's oh, that's, that's <laughs> medicine, man. That's that's it, exactly. It's better than fucking paracetamol, man. Better than going to the hospital, you know. So we've gone way off topic. <laughs> well, like I know a little bit because we're still <laughs> we can't. <laughs> we're still like on it now. It's like <laughs> dogs eat dogs eat grass if they get poisoned. Do they? Yeah. I doubt that's from us. Um, and one thing you notice with sick. um. With wolves and dogs. Okay, you think of a wolf. Wolf, what does it go after mainly? Other animals, meat. But obviously, dogs, from being around us and us being omnivores, they adapted to become om- omnivores. So, 
but they're when definitely allergic to arised, chocolate. We, we started to notice that dogs had a, or in fossils or remains, we noticed that they were able to, or they had a gland better suited to uh, digesting starches. So obviously, starch comes from most grains and so on. Mm. So, um, us eating starch adapted them to eating starch. Also, they were the first animal we ever domesticated about 40,000 years ago. Long oh. time. Very, yeah, very long time. Jesus. Darry, wasn't that a long time? That is a very long time. Also, Thomas, I think your mic might be glitching. Oh, uh, shit. All right, sorry about that. How are you? <laughs> it is normally me. Now that me no, no. and Thomas share... So Mike Brand and the Tom. origin of modern dogs has a s- single geographic origin. Um, defining to be published in the nature. Okay, that doesn't continue on. Uh, a single domestication event of modern dogs from a population of grey wolves that occurred between twenty thousand and forty thousand years ago. Dogs were the first animals to be domesticated by humans. Cool. Um, yeah. Why yeah. haven't we domesticated bears yet? <laughs> um, okay, we com- we competed against. Uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm not even gonna answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of, no. Have you ever heard of Wojtek? The Polish bear. Yeah, man. That was awesome. We also have a friend called Wojtek. Well, I mean, that's mm. well, it wasn't Shout necessarily out to Wojtek. I mean, I mean, Yogi Bear Wojtek. was kind of domesticated, right? I mean, Man, they, yeah. they, <laughs> shut I mean, up, like, shut up, Thomas. <laughs> like, like I but guess there, he stole the picnic baskets, but that's just because he was trying to feed that that little bear, you know. <sighs> you know, he never existed. You guys see those things where people are like domesticating uh, foxes, but obviously I they're love not domesticated. That. They're yet. so cute. They're just friendly to humans. They're not like domesticated yet. Yeah. Obviously, it would take a long time. They're super cute. But, uh, people, um, people um, usually there's, get di- there's a difference between something being friendly towards humans and being domesticated. Like a, mm-hmm. a yeah. friendly grey wolf won't isn't a dog. Of course not. Or even a domesticated grey wolf isn't a dog. It's too genetically you, different. Imagine someone domesticates a grey wolf. You walk into their house. Oh yeah, don't worry about my dog. He's friendly. And you walk in, you're like, Jesus, fuck! The wolf. Have, the wolf. have we... We, when you say we domesticated cats now, does that work also to big cats? Because people do live with like tigers and stuff. No, we did not. No, we did not do that. No. No, so people uh, are just they're just friendly we, with. We domesticated yep. cats twice, apparently. Um, also one one thing, my girlfriend was saying it to me. Uh, as again, not science, it's just a conversation we had. And then um, I have something to say after this because I know exactly what you're about to say. That. Uh, the reason dogs and cats might not like each other. I know what you're going to say as well. Uh, the reason dogs and cats might not like yeah. each other is because they obviously had to evolve together in human settlements, serving different roles. But realistically, we were their food source. We fed them. So they were directly competing for our attention and our food. So not only like they didn't evolve to be friendly together like they are with us, but they were then again in direct competition. So, Cats vs. Dogs starring Jeff Goldblum is based on a true story. Uh, yes. That's fact. <laughs> Anyone who says otherwise? I was going to say yeah, you're fucking wrong. Thing. <laughs> so yes, you're it's bitch. unbelievable to Thomas. think that Yogi Bear may be real. Okay. Thomas, Yogi <laughs> Bear does not exist. Okay. Yogi Bear isn't real Listen. and he can't hurt you, Thomas. <laughs> Yogi Bear. <laughs> Man, Yogi Bear, even if he did exist, fucking exists on top of the most dangerous fucking super volcano, period. Yeah, because right he's now. fucking cool. <laughs> Only fucking legends live at Yellowstone, man. Think about that. Guy fucking faces who, who danger lives in the face you know, every that's a legend, single Thomas, day. Huh? What? Thomas, have you ever seen Cats and Dogs? Yeah, I have seen Cats and Dogs starring yeah, Jeff Goldblum. You better have. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen cats and dogs, you're uncultured, okay? Oh, of course I have, yeah. I've also seen Yogi Bear and Yogi and Boo Boo. 
A and Yogi Bear returns. <laughs> and Yogi Bear, too Yogi, too furious. <laughs> oh my god. Man, will you stop making too fast, too furious jokes, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anytime Thomas talks about a sequel now, he refers to it as too whatever it is, too furious. So you know, too Star like, Wars, too furious. Yeah, she Jaws too. Oh no, do you mean Jaws? Two Jaws, too furious. Uh, and we're like, uh, oh, I like that one. <laughs> Have you seen Thomas it? Chapter two. Sorry, you mean uh, to it, too furious? No. Ah, um, that, that was a dumb one. Yeah, because Thomas, you'd fucking say that. That's why it's oh, dumb. Wow, that that is a bit rude. To be honest with you. Shut I up. I don't know. I'm just trying to. Shut up. I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, I've back to the dogs. Video, okay? Right. No. Anyway, we were talking about domestication and uh, animals being friendly with people, right? Yes. <sighs> There's this woman on YouTube. Okay. She Is lives this... with an an alligator. <laughs> really? She has an entire room of the house where the alligator lives. That's awesome. And it's just like a paddling pool, and then grass. Oh, man, that's... Mm. Sorry, you imagine having dinner at this woman's house, okay? You're like, oh, yeah, um, can I use your bathroom? Oh, yeah, sure, it's a uh, second door on the left. You accidentally take the first door on the left. Fucking crocodile room. <laughs> Sorry, alligator room. And you open it, and it just starts hissing at you. You're like, oh, what the fuck? Um... There's the whole thing with that, with dogs and cats. Should they be pets? Like, I don't, I don't think that's right now. You know, taking it, like, you know. Well, man. So I, and you could use the same argument with cats too and dogs. Too far along you know? now to kind of exist in the wild. You're too, Alligators. You're too far, they're too far along now. Uh, like, they're too far developed from wolves to live in the wild, I think. Mm. No, I'm talking about that alligator thing, man. No. <laughs> oh, no, man. You can't know. There is fucking no way you should be able to have an alligator living in your house. No. Should be even if you're song. even if you're taking the necessary precautions and shit like that. Say you have a fucking birthday, right? A- alligator accidentally gets out. Someone's getting fucking eaten, man, or shot. Like you either someone fucking gets eaten by the alligator, bitten by it, or the alligator gets shot. Pro- so, probably, yeah. yeah. This is the sad thing about it, yeah. Yeah, man. Imagine a kid's birthday party and a kid accidentally opened that door. Fucking massacre. Sounds like a Florida man thing. It does, doesn't it? It's like Florida, Florida man, man accident. No, it's like raid raid conducted on Florida man's house. Room full of ten alligators found <laughs> with child bones. No, okay, no. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, what? back to if you back could back have to like dogs. one. No, listen, no please go no, back to I have dogs. a fucking. No, I have a mad question. I have a mad question. Mm. If you could have one animal domesticated and living with you, what would it be? Oh, I actually have so an like, answer to this one. This, like, this will never, it'll never attack you. Yeah. There's a possibility it could attack people that, that you bring into the house. Mm. But they can get familiar with it as well. It's like a dog, you know? You have oh, to yeah, introduce no, 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 it to people, it, shit it. like that. Yeah. So I'd want, uh, I'd actually want a bear. So what, 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 what do you having have? a bear would be awesome, man. A bear. Yeah. <laughs> And it only gets angry when you talk about stealing its picnic basket. Yeah, but man, just... <laughs> Thomas, just think about the cost of feeding the bear alone. Oh, it only eats picnic basket food, so it's kind of cheap. Don't worry about it. Well, yeah, yeah. You just go for a walk in the park with your bear and anyone who has a picnic, you just fucking rob their picnic basket. The person tries to confront you about it, you just... the bear just fucking goes... Well, no, because he's not violent. Like, 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 he's actually fairly sound. They actually made a, they should make a show about it, man. It'd be actually very keep, funny. Like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you keep him on a leash, or is he just gonna be chilling? <laughs> ah, no, no. He, he's he's fair sound, like, and you can ask himself because he ah, can no, also it speak. Be, no, it can't be Yogi Bear. It has to be. I was answer truthfully and honestly. Oh fuck. Um, what do I like? Um, ah, I'm not, I'm cool with dogs, man. I like dog. Maybe a wolf. Wolf would be kind of cool. Would be class, man. Like, Wait, yeah. Wouldn't that just be a dog? Oh, fuck off. Okay, never mind. I want to change my answer. What, sorry? what about like a, a smaller Wait, version of a, of a tiger? Okay. So like a so like a cheetah. So a cat. 
Well, fuck off, Jared, man. You ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jared oh, say like a fucking to... mongoose now or some shit? What? What's Jared say like a fucking mongoose now or some shit like that? I've thought about this. Have you actually? Apparently. For a long time. One. A domesticated moa. A what? You mean that moa. fucking big ass bird? Moa. That big ass Is that bird. that big ass bird? Yeah. Oh no. Or Jason Momoa. <laughs> no, Either. Mo- they're equally as dangerous. Did you just look up Momo? Huh. No. <laughs> when you look up Momo bird, Thomas, fuck. What is a Momoa bird? It's a, no, it's just a Moa bird. Oh, a Moa, okay. Like that. Wait, oh shit, wait, not like that, yeah? I think. Oh yeah, okay. Let's have a look here then. Wait, they're fucking extinct, oh, Jared. Oh, those things. Yeah, we were talking about them the other day, weren't we? Oh, no, it has yeah. to still... Oh, can I have a T-Rex, if you're then? you're fucking using an extinct bird, man, I'm going to have to be fucking... Yeah, exactly, like... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I still want the talking bear. <laughs> um, no, uh... <laughs> I wanted, Jared, can I change my answer, today? man? Yeah, go on, fuck. Jesus Thanks, Christ. man. Um... It can't be extinct. It can't be. It can't of course be. It has to be stinks, man. You can have a domesticated T Rex. It is oh. going to be a chicken. Um. Can't be extinct. Just something that's alive. Something that's alive. Today. I guess. Uh, what are those things? Do you like the? <laughs> the do you know like Godzilla? Uh, not Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> no, not Godzilla. <laughs> King Kong, the giant Thomas. ape. <laughs> Thomas is gonna be fucking. <laughs> Thomas is gonna be existing with Godzilla living in his house. But yeah, because I domesticated him. He doesn't want to, you know, destroy what everything. What kind of fucking house? Well, it's gonna probably Imagine be pretty big that there, man. If I have Godzilla in it, man, Egypt, you know? What he has to eat is fucking. Man, he has to eat nuclear shit. Well, then I'll live so, near a nuclear plant, right? We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll adapt. And it, what? you just be like, hey, so uh, do you have any radioactive shit? They're like, yeah, sure. Just fucking sit there. So, how's life? You living with Godzilla? Yeah, he's my, he's my bro. Yeah, man. So, Tom, are you saying ape or are you saying... Yeah, it'll probably be less expensive than, you know, living with you or ordering a Chinese. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying a giant ape from from. No Kong, man, yeah. it has to exist. The giant apes do exist. Man, an ape that's like fucking fifty meters tall does not, well, not exist. No, not fifty. But there is a thing as giant apes, you know. What? They exist. Giant apes exist. Godzilla is based off somewhat of a true story. Giant. What? Yeah. Do you not know that? Well, they didn't bring him back, but they like. It's no. fucking oh, that... ex- oh fuck's sake! Stink, All bro. Right. That thing right there is that thing on the left looks like okay. So basically, I'm monkey. <laughs> All right then. Okay, no, no. A dolphin. Oh, dolphins are supposed to. Wait, no, actually, no. Because dolphins like rape. They like rape fish, don't they? Do they? Uh, I know with some other aquatic creatures. Yeah. Yeah. You know they 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 yeah. What'd be the fun in having a dolphin though? Like. Yeah, no, because like there's no water around. Um, I guess. I thinking, no, that uh, that's what I was thinking as well. I was like, oh yeah, man, I love a fucking great white shark, but like you know, you couldn't bring it anywhere. <laughs> um, what about? No, yeah, not a great white. Then that, they'd be kind of boring, wouldn't they? You actually, yeah. one fun fact is, uh, they can't be kept in the uh, aquariums. Great they whites. Die. Yeah, they I know. Yeah, they just die, and there's none currently in aquariums anywhere. Yeah, that's crazy. Not that's even cool. aquariums, in captivity. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a... Dangerous, that's cool, man. man. It's not dangerous, man. It's good that they're not kept in oh, captivity. It's too dangerous that... It's but too dangerous that they're... Could you yeah. imagine, like, you know, bring, being brought out of the sea? You know, just imagine... Yeah, that's shy, man. It's like going to prison, man. You know? It's fucked. Yeah, man. It's no place for me, anyway. No. Aquariums... On that note, I think we have covered this topic fairly well. And, I disagree. Uh, I want to keep talking about Yogi Bear, man. I'm not done. Man... Thomas hasn't even said the fucking animal he wants yet. 
Yeah, man. He's changed it about four times. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, st I'll, st I'll, st I'll stick to you. I'll, you to okay, I'll stick to you. Bear, go on. So you're sticking to a bear. So a I'll, brown I'll, yeah, bear. I'll, I'll actually want a bear, actually. Yeah, no. Class, what do you want, Jared? I don't know, like, to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen. <laughs> no, uh, That's so what sad. You What's he... <laughs> and you can't say a moa because it, it doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. An intelligent lizard. Oh, that'd be cool. Like Rambo. No, not Rambo. Rango. <laughs> yeah, sure. That'd be cool now, yeah. Oh, man. Fucking anaconda. <laughs> I was just about to say, man, probably like, maybe like a boa constrictor. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Fuck that, man. A boa constrictor, man. They're probably like fairly sound if you get to know them. Oh, like... yeah. Hi, um, Snakey. This is my best friend. Yeah. Fucking best friend is dead on the floor and just fucking choked to death by this yolk. Well, no, no, because you're domesticating these animals, so it wouldn't, like... Yeah, I know, but, like, that, have you ever gone to someone's house and their dog is gone for you at first? Not really, to be honest. You haven't been to enough houses, then? Not really, no. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> See, dogs just might, like, light you, then. No, man, dogs hate you. I've seen your dog and how it acts with you, man. Your dog fucking hates you. Oh, my dog fucking hates everyone, man. No, he fucking loves me. <laughs> he absolutely adores me, man. Anytime I show up at the house, fucking boom, he's instantly happy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man. We're, we're, we're sorry for ruining this episode. <laughs> Some fucking crazy shit. Anyway, I think... Uh, will, will, will we leave it there? Probably yeah. cheat... Cheers. Yeah. That'd be cool, yeah. Fucking fast, man. I think th think will we leave it there, yeah? I mean like that's... Jason, yeah. you, you name your cheetah Jason, it's like Jason, go go get my dinner fucking four hundred miles an hour, man, after this fucking whatever it is. Anyway, yeah. So that was a good episode that started Vacation of the Dogs and uh Ended with Thomas wanting to own Yogi. Yeah, I think I think we covered it okay. Uh, obviously, like we're not experts. No. We just wanted to have an interesting conversation about domesticating dogs and throwing a bit no. of cats in there. Yogi bear here and there. Talking bears that you know steal bear, picking baskets. Fucking birds, alligators. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments. What what animal would you want to domesticate? And, own? and have you seen Yogi bear? Because if you have, please contact me. And smash like. Smash that like button. Tell your grandma. Yeah. And how about you? Notifications if you want to like. Hit that Take subscribe. Take your handy. Subscribe. Oh. Yeah, good luck. And Take your handy. Oh.